scout, but somebody who did have Vince's attention, maybe in a bad way, was Randy Savage. I bring his name up here because he's actually interviewed for the new SmackDown magazine. So you may remember there was a WWF magazine, and then in the late nineties they had the Raw magazine. Well, now they're going to have a SmackDown magazine, and there's been lots of rumor and innuendo as to why Randy was never brought back into the fold. It feels like Vince was able to forget and forgive and or whatever it is with uh with scott hall with kevin nash with the ultimate warrior that's being a good promoter you sign guys that you believe are going to make you money whether you like them or not whether you're going to have christmas dinner with them or you're going to exchange gifts or whatever i'm being facetious but if they help your company's bottom line you can forgive and forget a lot of things that happened prior to that because still the bottom line for the stockholders and for your partners and for your company is to make a profit and significantly increase that bottom line as, as regularly as possible. And we all knew that Randy was going to be, is a, you know, he's a star, a great name identity. So, uh, you know, I didn't get along with him, but that don't mean nothing. Don't mean a thing other than we had different philosophies and he was a little bit of a bully and uh unpredictable and maybe that's what made him a star if it did more power to him well jim i gotta ask you know i think a lot of people just automatically because listen there's silly stupid rumors and gossip out there that's not true about why randy wouldn't have been brought back and it was a personal issue with vince and blah 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 but to hear what you just said i'm reminded of the fact that hey you're running talent relations and if you weren't necessarily high on him, maybe we don't need to look any further. Or, or do you think ultimately your, uh, feeling and position was, Hey, he's not going to wrestle. So what are we going to do with him? Why would we entertain a conversation with Randy? Well, and he's going to get paid a lot of money. If you're going to get him, he's going to, he's going to have a nice, uh, uh, nice sticker. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know what the MSRP is going to be on that deal, but it's going to be a lot of money and he's not going to wrestle. Uh, or, or we didn't think he was going to wrestle. So, uh, I don't know, Connie, I, I just never clicked with him, but I, I was, I refused to allow that to inter interfere with my daily duties, uh, in administration because you don't have to be an idiot. You'd be an idiot not to see the star power. He's Randy Savage for God's sake. Of course. Sake. Yeah. So, uh, I wasn't going to go against my team and, uh, cause I didn't personally get along with him. You know, he was Vince's guy. He, he was always very close to Vince and that was good enough for me. I, I handed him off. I don't, I don't need to be involved. And if I didn't need to be involved and, and screw up the apple cart, so to speak, then don't. So, and that's kind of my philosophy It's kind of a hands off. If I can help him, if there's things I can do for him, uh, airline tickets or, or days off or whatever, I'll be happy to accommodate him. But, but he wasn't my favorite guy. And, and, uh, I remember one time monsoon had to inter intervene and savage came to TV where we were doing interviews cause he had heard a promo I did and he didn't understand why I was in, he was in all these, uh, commercial breaks and these non live event markets. And I told him, so you're a star. It adds to the value of the program. That's why I think you're trying to bury me. I, I couldn't even relate to that. How in the hell would I, why would I want to bury it? And how is you getting more television exposure to come do those three minute segments where you can say basically anything you want and express yourself, which you're very good at. Why would I want to see failure in that deal? It, would, it makes no sense, but that's the words of a, of a very insecure guy. And a lot of talents, when they get to a certain age, uh, they, they convince themselves that there's a conspiracy. And God knows that's been around since the day I walked into my first uh, dressing room in 1974. Let's talk about, uh, a tragedy that happens. It takes place, unfortunately at the mid South Coliseum. It's supposed to be a big public birthday party and celebration for Jerry Lawler. And there's a night of, I guess we'll call it eighties nostalgia the glory days of Memphis and Larry Booker, who we knew as Moondog spot, unfortunately passes away from a heart attack during a match. What can you tell us about Moondog spot? 
And I know you weren't there, but of course Lawler was, mm. was this a traumatic event for Lawler? I mean, we would see him have his own heart attack at the desk yeah. of Monday night raw. This is a scary deal and a, and a, and a sad story and very unsettling. Yes. Very unsettling. Uh, Larry was a half of a really good tag team. I don't think they work mid South that much, but I did. I had a, he was an acquaintance. He wasn't, he, he spent most of his time in Memphis and he got his, I think he got a break in WWE. He got a lot of bookings. He, got, he stayed busy. It seemed like, uh, but, a, but a very underrated hand. He's one of those territory guys that knew that if you don't draw money, you don't get paid much. So he worked his ass off to get on top of the card and, and, and he and his partner, uh, what is this one what we're talking about now? Spot, right? Yes. Yeah. So what, what's the other one? Rex. Yes. Moondog Rex. They were a good team. They were a good heel team. They had all the basic fundamentals of being able to feed a comeback, take some bumps and their work was believable enough that you didn't look through it. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, Mick Foley. He's going to come back at the very next raw and he's going to dominate that episode from Sacramento. Uh, of course he's stepping in for Steve Austin before the return is built up. And I guess the goal that's reported is it's going to be a WrestleMania angle. And Mick has gone on record as saying he was hoping that it was going to be against Hunter. And we know that it doesn't wind up being Mick and Hunter at WrestleMania 20. Would you have liked to have seen that Mick and Hunter one-on-one? Yeah. At 20? Two great workers, two great psychologists. The promos would have been timeless. Uh, you know, let's not forget how good Hunter was Yes, in that role. Uh, he, he became the top heel in the business. At least that's my take on it. I, I was around him daily. Uh, you know, I remember sitting in the Evansville, Indiana and signing him to his first big contract, uh, sitting on an anvil case in the back of the building and getting it signed and, and, uh, talking him through that. Uh, so I, I've always had uh, great respect for him. His, his in-ring work is. He got better and better and better. And from a pr- presentation standpoint, he always looked great. We didn't, we know that that's, you know, I get it, but he, he's just learned so much. And I think that's indicative of the job that he's doing today. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad free shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like title chase, Eric fires back conversations with Conrad and the insiders plus new series like the book with David Crockett, Monday mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early. You can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And Hey, when you do the first week is completely free at freeshows.com. <laughs> 